Hey, what's up, guys? Dr. Cloud here, looking back to episode 20 of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And, okay, you might notice that I've jumped around a lot. So, let me explain this real quick. So, in episode 18, it stopped about halfway through because my cat had laid down on the keyboard and stopped my recording. And for episode 19, my, uh, Recording just didn't do it right, and the file was corrupted, and I just couldn't do anything with it. So, long story, long story short, um, we have gotten the sixth gym badge, um, the TM was Metal Sound, complete trash. And our team is still the exact same. We didn't actually lose anyone. So, here we are. We're on this route. And we're going to keep moving through. And we're going to do probably some story stuff in this episode. So, um, I, I'm not even going to say that you should go back to the last episode and, if you're lost. Because you'll be even more lost if anything. So, if you enjoyed this episode and are willing to accept my flaws as a person, please like and, like and subscribe to this video. It, it's just been a whole series of different things that just keep happening while I'm trying to record this stuff, and it's just not going great. I, I really want to make good content here for you guys, and it's just hard sometimes. Alright, so as you can see, Nancy's getting pretty close to evolving, and that is my main goal for today, is to get Nancy to evolve. I would very much like Nancy to evolve in this episode, or the next one, whichever one happens, I'll be happy. If the first one's a crit, are they all a crit? No. And you only hit twice. Terrible. Why even use Mud Sport? You... Electricity does not affect you. Electricity moves don't affect you. Lightning type moves don't affect you. It does not matter. Boy, I hope that rain's gonna power up that thunder to hit you. The sprinklers are going to go off, and then that thunderbolt's going to hit you really hard. Please don't. Oh my goodness. Can we not? Please. And please don't let a Chansey destroy me. Um, gosh, that noise is so annoying. Okay, fine, double slap, that's fine. Can you get a crit double slap? There we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm just kind of like ramped up because this whole recording thing is just... Very no was that a crit? No, wow. This whole recording thing is just very annoying. I'm trying I just want to bring you guys good content. And things just keep happening. But I, I will try my best and I will keep attempting to bring out this content to you guys. And I'm sure it'll get better and better as I continue on and learn more. And hopefully um, you will put up with me for as long as it takes me to really get a good handle on this stuff. Obviously, I can't catch a Nidoqueen. Even though a Nidoqueen would be a very good member of my team, it's just that I don't really want to sub anyone out because I don't know where it would actually be needed. Um, I'm trying to battle all these trainers because I really, really want to get this evolution 
Oh, there we go. Mighty Ant is fine. Mighty Ant's just gonna get blown back. Just gone. 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 That's actually kind of annoying. Hoping to one-try you, but now I can't. Honestly, extra rain animation is a little bit annoying too. I want to see how much arm thrust does. Yeah, that's about as much as I thought it was gonna do. Oh, hit enough, so. Uh, the mag be. Um. Yeah, sure, I'll let Tamara take it. Just because my attack's lowered, I just want to switch into whatever's after this mag B and be able to be at full attack. And hopefully, it doesn't also have um, Intimidate. That's the, that's the ability. Um, I also really hope I don't get flame bodied here because that'd be just as annoying. And I just really don't want to deal with it. I don't have quick attack anymore, so I can't even go for. Okay, whatever. Just, just don't do anything. It's fine. I mean, it really is though. Like making my life easier. Oh, there it is. It's fine though. I'm gonna switch out anyways. That's a Mewtwo though. Um. I, I can see how much damage I do here, but I I could very easily see myself switching out. Um, I'm seven levels above it. I'm gonna try. I feel like I can take one hit from it, at least. Okay. Is that sharply raised? Yeah. Okay, so I feel like Maybe two more strengths would take out now. Let's see. Hmm. It's a close one. Uh, I definitely need to heal. Okay. We good. Yeah, Fez, we can take down a Mewtwo. You know, in a way, I kind of wish I had slacking. That wasn't even a crit. Um, but... I'm also really not looking forward to Truant. Because I really, really hate that ability. Okay, I'm fairly confident Cut will still take it out. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> you have four stores. It, it's probably time to switch out right now. Yeah, it, it, it's time to switch out. Another time. It's just, just not Nancy's time here. That's fine, keep using Barrier. It doesn't matter. You're about to catch the Surf in the rain, and it should do at least half. Yeah, there we go. That's more of what I'm talking about here. Okay, really though? Can we not do that? You're just wasting time. Just fishing for that. I think that's all I want to do is like, disable your most powerful move that you're going to use against him and then just confusion you. There. Now, can we not with a Mewtwo? Seriously. It was very unnecessary to throw out a Mewtwo. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm pretty sure I have like a smaller healing item. It's, um, yeah, I'll just use some berry juice. Takes away a slot in my bag too, so. Um, 
then I know I got a berry for this. I still don't remember what berry it's called. Rost. I have two of them, but honestly, I don't really care. Good item. That is that is a good item. I will not deny that. Okay. Um. Just scoot down here. On oh, Nancy. I really want you to evolve. You know, I really don't remember what happens next in this game. I don't know why. I'm just like blanking. I don't, I don't remember if it's like. Is it you go to Lily Cove and then you do the evil team stuff? It. I don't know. It. Legends, man. Can we just not with this? Like, it's decent XP and all, but it's just very annoying. I'd honestly rather them send out an Aggron. There we go. Okay, that's see, that's fine. That's gonna be decent XP, and it's not that bad. This makes me think, like, what if there was, like, I want to see a Poison-type evolution. Like, that should be the next one. Because, like, I, I truly can't imagine it. And that's kind of what, what I want them to put to the picture, is the fact that I can't imagine it. What can they come up with? Then again, I have a really hard time imagining most types. Like... The three main Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon are all pretty basic, and they kind of just nailed that. Espeon and Umbreon are a little more out there. The same ones like Glaceon and Leafeon. Well, more Glaceon. Leafeon's pretty basic, too. It's just, like, covered in leaves. But, you know. Ooh. Oh, snap. Hmm. Champion. Bagger? No. That's not helping me. Okay. How much did that increase your stats? A lot. Wow. All right. Finally, Tamrat's turn. My big three. Oh snap! All my Pokemon are final stage now. But yeah, I, I would consider like these three right here my big three. They're probably going to be like the main users. My backup uh, Pokemon I always use. I'm pretty sure I've already got an encounter on this route. But if that's my encounter, I don't want it anyways. Oh boy, I can get that with my Shoal Salt. Um, that's not the right thing. Can I, can I stop? Let me just go down. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, still at 120. I already got an encounter here. So, thankfully, Sunkern is not my encounter. Citrus Berries? Nope. I mean, Petra Berries are always nice. One sec, guys. <laughs> Plus no, I'll be honest, the likelihood of me actually using anything I really get in my team is kind of low because I feel like I already have a fairly solid team and there's not too many things that are really going to be better. It's possible I'll find something, but my mind goes 
blank whenever I try to think of something that I really want to take the time to grind up and add to my team. I really just don't care about these berries right now. I really just want to get encounters and play through the game right now. That's truly what I want to do. So right now we're just kind of going. Oh boy, I can power up Poison Tail. I think that's the only poison type attack I even have on my team. Oh. Right now I'm just getting experience up from trainers. Which I don't think is a bad thing. Because, uh, if I remember right, I was on par with the last gym. Hmm. That's a very interesting animation for Sharpen. I don't know why, but I thought Sharpen raised, um, attack sharply. And not just, uh, oh my gosh, words. Um, not just regular rays. I mean, it basically destroyed your sharpen anyways. Doesn't even matter. Burn catch. Bye. Oh man, it's a Spearow. Ah! You know, if like an actual flock of Spearows would be scary though. Those things are like super aggressive. Second Ice Ball, and you're dead. I feel like I have very diverse movesets, which is also very good. Botanist Kigo. Does this guy battle me? Yeah, he does. Cool. I think this is another one of the Reg Reggie things, but I don't know. I, I'm i not good at remembering the Reggies. I can't even remember if they're like post game or something. Um. I don't feel like I can touch this thing well. So we're just gonna swap out the cast. Bjorn right now is just such a lackluster member of my team. He doesn't have much going for him. Like he doesn't have really good power. The most he can do that anyone else can't do is fly me places. And I haven't used that once, which I really should. I really thought that would one shot. Let me acid you back, see how it feels for you. On the plus side, um, thanks to leftovers on cast, I they. Moves basically do nothing to me. I don't know why my words are just so flustered right now. I just can't talk. Oh, but what I can do is I can talk about our question of the day. Uh, question of the day is what was your was your last Ah, uh, what is your worst restaurant experience? Now, I would have to say that I went to a restaurant that's going to stay unnamed. And, for starters, whenever they brought out the food. No, no, no. Let's start at the very beginning. So, first of all, um,. Took forever to get seated, which I mean I understand that you know there's a lot of people there. A lot of people want that food. That's fine. But then it took probably ten minutes to get our drinks. 
drinks were never refilled. Like, I understand you're busy, but if you want to keep that place's reputation going, then you just have to put in a little bit more effort to keep that going. Now, alright, so, covered drinks, um, so, food came out, half the food was wrong, and had to be taken back, and remade, which took longer than the original, because, you know, there are other orders in front of that, and they went ahead and took care of those first, which I understand, I do that too. And, then, when they brought up the second... Uh, the second wave of food, I guess. The remakes of it. There was plastic in the food that they had, I guess, not completely unpackaged the product. I don't know. There was, like, a piece of plastic in some of the food. Like, why? Why is there plastic in your food? There was hair in a, on another plate. And we basically just ended up getting the entire meal for free because it was just disgusting. Now... I've eaten there since, and it's been a lot better. But that just one experience was just so terrible, like, it made me not want to go back there. But you know, I did. I gave it a second chance, and it's been fine. I enjoyed it. Alright, so there's my little rant about my worst restaurant experience. Now, what about your guys's? Let me know in the comment section, comment section down below. What about you? What was your worst restaurant experience? It honestly is probably worse than mine. Like maybe you were there and the guy got a guy got like shot by someone. I, I I don't know. There's probably a lot of things worse than my experience personally. Like you know, there there's just like some hair. I feel like that's a very common thing. Probably happens like every day to people. There's just hair in your food. You know, fun fact. So, I was looking at this thing that, um, I don't know if it was real. I'm not going to say it is. But, it was saying that, um, FDA guidelines, um, allow certain traces of animal excrement in certain brands of cocoa. Now, don't you don't quote me on this. Don't take my word for it. It's just something I saw. I don't I did not look at the sources or anything. So that does not mean it is true. But if it is, first of all, it's super that's very disgusting makes you not want any kind of cocoa stuff. There's another mole trace. Why is there another mole trace? Um, but you also have to wonder why. Like, My best reason I could come up with trying to think why would this even be a thing is that you know, they, they get cocoa from they grow it from plants, right? So naturally some kind of insects or other animals are going to you know excrement on the plants so obviously uh it's gonna have some trace of it which probably is how most of our food is you know like most of our crops probably have some kind of like insect excrement on it and we do our best to like clean it and everything but whenever it's like cocoa and it's like mostly packaged through a plant it's, I almost find it understandable that there'd be some amount of excrement in it. I'm not saying I want there to be excrement in my cocoa, but I understand why there is. Look, I understand, I understand the, the process of making something with cocoa in it, and why it would have some kind of excrement in it. I mean, there were, a there were a bunch of things that I saw on that website. There was like, uh, 
maggots um, allowed in tomatoes. No, 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 not tomatoes. In mushrooms. Um, there was... Oh, gosh, what else was there? Um, there's an amount of mold allowed on uh, apples that are turned into, like, applesauce and uh, apple pie that are store-bought. And, like, the amount of things were just disgusting. And they were, like, uh, small doses to a large amount of the product. But even just thinking, if I have, like, trace amounts of this in my product, I, I don't want to I don't want to buy that product. I don't want to eat that product. That's disgusting. Now that's my personal opinion. Like I don't like I've I've eaten grass, I've eaten leaves, but you know that was when I was a kid and before I really knew what things were made of. But you know, as you do end up learning in the future about what things are made of it really does make you want them a lot less. Like, why am I going to eat this if I could have this other product that isn't disgusting, isn't, like, rotten, or have bugs in it, or have excrement in it? Like, why am I going to eat your product whenever I can go over here and eat a product that isn't going to make me feel sick? I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm just, I was so surprised to see that whenever I did, I couldn't believe it, but, you know, once again, I don't know if that's credible, I don't know if that's a credible source, I did not look at it, but, if it's true, then that's just gross, I don't want to know about it. Sometimes it's better to be oblivious. And if it isn't true, then can we please not put that like out there? You're destroying people's like thought of food that they like. Like what if I want to be able to eat pasta without thinking about, uh, I don't know, what the cow ate Or, uh, what happened to the wheat before it became my noodles? Like, I just want to be able to eat my food and not be disgusted. You know? It really is sometimes better just to be in the dark. Okay, I'm gonna fly back real quick because I know there's just like a bunch of trainers up here and I still want to get my encounter. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly back and we're gonna come back here, get our encounter, and we're gonna call the episode right there. And I feel like I accomplished something because Nancy evolved into Slacking. And now my team is fully evolved. And I'm very, 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 very excited. I feel like walking on these bridges takes forever, though. Oh, that's right, I can't actually ride my bike through that grass. And it's actually not a bad way to, like, stay on the path. Like, whenever you come down here to this grass. Like, you can't really run into trainers if you're on your bike. not bad of an idea and I never realized it there have been a lot of times I came down there and it was just really annoying because I kept going in the grass I'm like I don't want to fight any Pokemon right now okay so we're at 121 encounter hmm that is Absol if I remember right Absols have really really high catch rate though so let me I know it's risking burn, but I'm just gonna go for it. If I burn it, I burn it, you know? Okay. Um. 
Mm. If I use number, another ember, I'll put it in range, but I'm gonna go for it, why not? It's fine. You know, you just gotta live sometimes. It actually worked. Okay. Um, let's switch out to Cass. Because Cass is gonna put this Absol to sleep before it kills me. Oh darn, it's using Razor Wind. Ah! Such an unthreatening move. Honestly, this should be a pretty easy catch right now. It's in the red, it's asleep. It's really not going to get a higher catching uh, percentage than this. Oh, come on. You're still asleep. Come on, just get caught, Absol. Don't make this hard. Thank you. And I add another female. Okay. Uh, it's sharp. It sharply senses even subtle changes in the sky and the land to predict natural disasters. It is a long-lived Pokemon that has a long span of a hundred years. Like in the Pokemon world, that's not that long of a lifespan. Because we don't actually know how long any Pokemon lives. I spelled that wrong. Edvidge. Edvidge was transferred to my PC. Okay, guys. So we're going to end the episode right here, right in the spot. And once again... I'm very sorry for the missing section of this game. I wish I could change it, but I can't. So if you enjoyed this episode and me ranting a lot, then please like and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are going to head into Lily Cove and we're going to do some things. So always remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So please have a banana. <laughs>